We begin with the scanned conventional hematoxylin and eosin stained section. First, the tumor region is delineated with the deep learning segmentation network. This image contains an order of 100,000 by 100,000 pixels. These dimensions are larger than is currently feasible for classification by deep learning methods. It is digitally resized to a size corresponding to a maximum dimension of 1600 pixels. The red, green and blue channel of the whole slide image are then stacked as grayscale images. Convolutions and spatial pooling are then applied to the stack, generating 64 new representations. A second sequence of convolutions and spatial pooling generates 128 new representations. A third sequence of convolutions and spatial pooling generates 256 new representations. This cycle of convolutions and spatial pooling is repeated. Finally, the representations are rescaled to the original size with a learned upsampling before a pixel-wise softmax is applied. This results in a probability map, highlighting regions with tumor. The probability map is then segmented, resulting in the final mask. As mentioned earlier, the whole slide image dimensions are larger than is currently feasible for classification by deep learning methods. To preserve prognostic information contained at high resolution, the tumor region is partitioned into multiple non-overlapping image regions, called tiles, at 10x and 40x resolutions. For this demonstration, we begin with the 40x tiles. All 40x tiles are processed individually by a convolutional neural network, termed a Do-More V1 network. Here we see the first tile being processed. This network consists of a representation network and a pooling function. After all tile representations are computed, the pooling function collects all tile representations and performs an operation, reducing them to two numbers. A pair of values is calculated for each tile and registered in respective heat maps. This concludes the first network. A classification network is then applied to this array of tile representations. The respective pair of values for each tile are compared to a probability space and the mean value is calculated. This reduces to a single point, yielding the probability for poor prognosis. This prediction of the probability of poor prognosis is the final representation for the first model. For each resolution there is an ensemble of five trained models created by five unique training runs. Due to random initialization and sampling, each trained network is unique. When applied, they produce five different predictions of poor prognosis. The five 40x predictions are averaged, and the result is a new predicted probability of poor prognosis, which is termed the 40x ensemble model prediction. To calculate the ensemble prediction for 10x, we retile the delineated area at 10x magnification and repeat the process with five different models. This is the final ensemble prediction for 10x resolution. A threshold value determined by evaluation during training is used as an ensemble marker to predict either good or poor prognosis. We compare the probability predictions of both resolutions to the respective ensemble marker. The combination, termed the Do-More V1 CRC marker, predicted good prognosis if both ensemble markers predicted good prognosis, uncertain prognosis if the ensemble markers predicted differently, and poor prognosis if both ensemble markers predicted poor prognosis.